And that's not all people say about me. A few weeks ago, Dick Cheney says he thinks I'm the worst president of his lifetime. <laughs> Which is interesting because I think Dick Cheney is the worst president of my lifetime. <laughs> Quite a coincidence. I mean, everybody's got something to say these days. Mike Huckabee recently said, people shouldn't join our military until a true conservative is elected president. Think about that. It was so outrageous, 47 ayatollahs wrote us a letter trying to explain to Huckabee how our system works. It gets worse. <laughs> Just this week, Michelle Bachman actually, actually predicted that I would bring about the biblical end of days. <laughs> now that's a legacy. <laughs> that's big. I mean, Lincoln, Washington, they didn't do that. I'm happy to report that the Secret Service, thanks to some excellent reporting by White House correspondents, uh, they're really focusing on uh, some of the issues that have come up. And they finally figured out a foolproof way to keep people off my lawn. <laughs> oh, yeah. It works. But of course, uh, let's face it, there is one issue on every reporter's minds, and that is 2016. Already we've seen some missteps. It turns out Jeb Bush identified himself as Hispanic back in 2009. But you know what? I, look, I understand. It's an innocent mistake. Reminds me of when I identified myself as American back in 1961. <laughs> Ted Cruz said that denying the existence of climate change made, <laughs> made him like Galileo. <laughs> now that's not really an apt comparison. <laughs> Galileo believed the Earth revolves around the sun. Ted Cruz believes the Earth revolves around Ted Cruz. I, I, and, and just as an aside, I want to point out, when a guy who has his face on a hope poster calls you self-centered, <laughs> you know you've got a problem. <laughs> the narcissism index is creeping up a little too high. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rick Santorum announced that he would not attend the same-sex wedding of a friend or a loved one, to which gays and lesbians across the country responded, that's not going to be a problem. <laughs> Don't sweat that one. <laughs> and Donald Trump is here. <laughs> Still. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's amazing how time flies. Soon the first presidential contest will take place, and I, for one, cannot wait to see who the Koch brothers pick. <laughs> it's exciting. Marco Rubio, Rand Paul, Ted Cruz, Jeb Bush, Scott Walker. Who will finally get that red rose? <laughs> the winner gets a billion-dollar war chest. The runner-up gets to be The Bachelor on the next season of The Bachelor. <laughs> I mean, seriously, a billion dollars from just two guys. Is it just me, or does that feel a little excessive? <laughs> I mean, it's almost insulting to the candidates. The, the, the Koch brothers think they need to spend a billion dollars to get folks to like one of these people. It's got to hurt their feelings a little bit. And, and look, I know I've raised a lot of money too, but in all fairness, my middle name is Hussein. <laughs> What's their excuse?
But we do need to stay focused on some big challenges, like climate change. Hey, listen, y'all, if you haven't noticed, California is bone dry. <laughs> it looked like a trailer for the new Mad Max movie up in there. <laughs> y'all think that Bradley Cooper came here because he wants to talk to Chuck Todd? <laughs> he needed a glass of water! <laughs> Come on! The science is clear. The science is clear. Nine out of the ten hottest years ever came in the last decade. Now, I'm not a scientist, but I do know how to count to ten. Rising seas, more violent storms. You got mosquitoes, sweaty people on the train, stinking it up. It's just nasty. I mean, look at, who's what, who, look at what's happening right now. Every serious scientist says we need to act. The Pentagon says it's a national security risk. Miami floods on a sunny day, and instead of doing anything about it, we've got elected officials throwing snowballs in the Senate. Okay, okay, Mr. It's a, okay, I, I think they got it, bro. I, it is crazy. <laughs> what about our kids? Okay, what kind of stupid, short-sighted, irresponsible bull? Oh, 